Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yorker Man here, and welcome back to another episode of this Scottish adventure. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the team, see how they've been getting on. We're also going to make some more transfers. We're going to do some changes. We're going to see where we are in the table. We're going to do a whole host of stuff in episode number one. Hopefully, you're along for the ride on this Scottish adventure. I appreciate you all, the support on episode number one. Let's get into it. Well, there is one thing that is really good about FIFA, not having the licenses for all the rest of the Scottish leagues. And of course... This is why, yeah, 12, 10 points, it's going, it's going really well, I'm having a really good time, it's been really good fun, we're all enjoying ourselves, we've had two wins, both games that I played, uh, I have played a few of the games off camera and also simmed the majority of them, the majority of this will be simmed, I will do some live comms, like when we get to the nitty gritty and some of the good stages, but there's just no point doing it like that, that's not how this series is going to be, but yeah, uh, we're bottom, so luckily for us, I'm pretty sure you can't get relegated, and the board is still pretty cushy with me. They're fine. They're like, yeah, cool, Yorkie. We're happy with what you're doing. We've lost 15 times. We've conceded 41 goals, guys. This this is horrendous. Now, when I say I've played a few games, I haven't actually played many games. I've just played a few of them, and um, it's just, it's not great. It's not great, and we're in January now. January window, refresh, we're having a refresh, we're having a rethink, I've promoted some of the youth players that look pretty decent, also, we need some centre mids, the team is really unbalanced, I've been playing two centre mids that are under 60 rated for the majority of the season, the team is just, it's not, it's not very good and that's exactly why we're there, right down there at the bottom, Eight points adrift. So obviously you're thinking to yourselves there, Charlie York, who's the main stat guys in the team, who's having a proper good season so far. It's just David Mayo, that's it, pretty much. David Mayo, four goals. He's, got, he's, he's so bad, isn't it, when you look at it? Welcome to Hamilton. Welcome to Hamilton, guys. I'm devastated. Four goals, and I've scored two of them. It was me who did two of them. And Gonzalez as well, I scored both of them. The simulation has just absolutely battered me. It's not been nice. I thought at one stage, I played a couple of games when we, when we got the two wins, and I thought... This is it. I'll play a few more. We've got a couple of draws as well. It was still extremely difficult because there's not many players on this team that can do much. I'm sorry, Hamilton, but there just isn't. But then the biggest issue was, is I was like, well, I can't just play all the games. The point of it is to be a simulation. It's supposed to be real to the simulation. We're building the team for the simulation. And the simulation hates me. Absolutely hates me, doesn't like me, doesn't care about me, nor my feelings, or the fact that I might get the sack, or at least I thought I was going to get the sack. Look at this. He's, David Mayo scored four goals and not been in a match where we've had a clean sheet. Gonzalez has only been in one match where we've had a clean sheet. And look at this. Condrea, two games where we've had a clean sheet. Two. Two games where we've had a clean sheet. This man's special, clearly. So yeah, all in all, experience so far in Scotland, not a great one. Not a great one. I was ready to pack my bag, but we do have a bit of time now. We're going to list some players to sell them as well. I'm going to try and move some players on. Um, I'm just, I'm going to try and sign some centre midfielders and hope that when we come back at the end of the season, we're sat here rubbing our hands together thinking we'd done some proper good business and, and we saved ourselves. But we've got about 1.5 million. I'm scouting a whole host of players because realistically, no one can be as bad as what we've already got. Also, we mentioned a couple of the youth players. We brought up David Ramirez. I think he's got potential of 82. Uh, Ramsey, and this is top end potential of 80. And then you already knew about Vic because he, he's the main man. But he's injured at the moment. And he has played a lot of game time, which is decent. And he's gone from 55 to 57, which is he's, he's great, isn't it? It's awesome. I'm sure he's happy. Tell all his mates he could play for Hamilton and he's having a right laugh. But I'm not. I'm not having a right laugh. And to be honest with you, when I've used him, he's not very good. He's not very good, but he's 18, so it's fine. It's absolutely fine, but he's just not very good right now. So first player we're letting go of is four-game Marios. We're going to let him go. 26-year-old, 450k. Bye-bye-bye. We stopped playing the 4-4-2 really quickly because I learned that maybe it's just me that sucks at the game, but I was awful with a 4-4-2, so I was like, I'm not going to build a tactic around that moving forward because when we do actually want to play some games, I'd like to win. But Marios will leave us. 61 rated, and unfortunately for him, he's nowhere near the best striker, so we will look to move him on. Also, we're going to list. Boys, no wonder he ain't got a club. No wonder he was on a free transfer, because God awful. Why is it saying block offers? Why can't I, why can't I list him? What, why, why can't I list him? Why? Explain to me, game. Is it because he's out of contract? No, nah, he's not out of bloody contract. Why can't I list Liam Boyce? 
Why can't I list him? This is no. Oh. Like it doesn't appear that I can list any of the players that I signed on a pre uh, on a free contract. Let's have a look through them. No, we can't list anyone who we signed on a free contract. So that really plummeted that idea of us letting go of Boyce and making a bit of cash from him. I don't know why. Why is that a thing? I don't like that. So we'll come up here against Ross County, a game that potentially we should win. I will quick sim it as per usual, and we'll get a draw. I mean, we'll take it, but we had a red card, so we're even shorter now in centre mid. Unfortunately for us, the scout reports haven't come back on some of the players we're looking at. Just because I'm sure a few of you Celtic and Rangers fans will be asking, Celtic are top on 58 points, Rangers are second on 54 points, Range, uh, Celtic have just beaten Rangers 2-0, and Aberdeen, they're in third on 36 points. So you can see how close it is. Celtic haven't lost a single game yet. It's just, you know, that's the way this league is at the moment. And if you're wondering, Yorkie, who have you got your eye on? Who, who's going to be coming into the club? Who's, the, no one. I haven't, no not got my eye on no one. Panicked a little bit. Panicked, to be honest with you. We flew through a couple of months in the simulation, and then I played a couple of games, and then I thought, you know what? Maybe I should start scouting some players. January's around the corner. We're in January. I ain't got no scout reports back yet, and no one on list. So, <laughs> you know, awesome. So, Rossy boy's come to me. He's upset. He submitted a transfer request. Well, do you know what, Ross? Tata, mate. Don't even want you here. You're rubbish. We're trying to replace players like you. So, if you want to go, see you later, pal. See you later. Another quick sim here against Livingston, and the result will be 2-0 Livingston. It's, uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Even game, though, kind of. Even, because you get points for that in the league. So now we've got Gillingham, you know, sending me emails, sending me messages in the post and stuff, saying, why aren't you playing our player? Do you, do you know why, Gillingham? Because he's rubbish. So Gillingham have actually made the decision to recall their player. Absolutely fine. Not a problem. Wasn't playing him. Don't care, Gillingham. Bye, we won't loan anyone from you again. Oh, you have a rubbish season. So I've got a scout report on David, and we're going to sign him instantly. I know he's 30, but at this stage, none of that matters. It's not relevant whatsoever. What matters is he's 64 rated and already better than any other centre mid we've got. Well, apart from Gonzalez, is pretty decent, but that, we need him. We need him. So I already feel better. One signing in already. Good old David. I'm happy with that. You can't beat a David. Or Would it be David? I, who cares? He's better than what we got. He'll slot straight into the team, and that'll make me happy. We're already just a little bit better. Well, it just keeps getting better, doesn't it? Now, Jamie Hamilton has suffered a torn hamstring. He'll be out for three bobs pretty much the rest of the season, and I'm just, I'm just so happy. So, guys, here's a great life lesson for you. A very, very good one. When playing FIFA 21, scout your players ahead of time. It'll really help you out. Do not scout them just before the start of the window, or indeed the first day of the window, because apparently it will take you 31 days plus to scout them, and you won't have no reports back while you're at the end of the window. We're on deadline day, three days for the reports for the first set of players I scouted. We ain't going to have none of the reports back. I have no clue how to sign, uh, or who to sign, sorry. And we're just, it's great. Just roll on end of season one. So it should be noted, I've had to block several offers for Lewis Smith in this window as well. But the board do want us to make a bit of cash this year. So although I could sign some of those players, not fully knowing how good they are, because there is no relegation. I know, cop out. I ain't going to sign anybody else. And we're going to take that money into next season. And hopefully, it's just, it's got to go better. It's got to go better. Right, guys, so it is the end of the season. We have played on through and... For full disclosure, after the split, I actually played every game because it looked like we might actually lose our job. We were doing that dreadfully. So when we look at some of the player stats and whatnot, bear that in mind that I played the entire split. I played all five games, just played them now. Or else I felt like we were going to be sacked. The target rating went down hugely. It, it, it looked dangerous. It looked dangerous. And I don't know how strict they are at sacking this time round. So I was very, very worried about it. But we've managed to bring it back up to 80. Once we started winning a few games, it was absolutely fine. Also, what I noticed is look at this. We've got uh, 1.37 million, but we've got 51k in the wage budget. So when it comes to free transfers, we could be absolutely cushy. But for what you guys have been waiting for, let's look at the table. Now, I have no idea to look at the whole table without the split. But this is what we did in the split. We managed to crawl our way back. Now, we were five points adrift of St. Mirren, and we've ended up four points ahead of them and ahead of Ross County as well. We had a really good run in, in the split, which I'll show you. 
and we played some great football. I, I played some of the best football. I actually got to spend a bit of time with the squad, and it's not as rubbish. It's not as rubbish as I made out. And and Mayo, I know I call him Mayo, and I know it's Mo, Moyo, but it's so close to Mayo, so it's going to continue. But he was unbelievable. He was an absolute beast in that time period. In fact, we played some really good football, but let's look at the results. Now, more than anything, this is just the results that kept us our job. Nothing special. I won't do this too often. Uh, I do play the odd game in between just to get some game time in, see how the, the the squad's feeling, so on and so forth. But any important games, like key games, I will bring to you as live comms. So don't worry about that. But we did play. Dundee United beat them 2-1. It was a close game. Drew against Kilman at 1-1. Beat St. Mirren 4-0. Beat Ross County 3-2 after being 2-1 down. And beat St. Johnston 3-0 uh, on the last game of the season. Now, I must admit when playing the games it was a lot easier than uh, previous games but having said that Kilmarnock wasn't easy and Dundee wasn't particularly easy either and to be honest with you we just dropped the ball against Ross County but going forward we were definitely the best side and really the problem is in that situation is I found us playing against the smaller sides and we definitely stood a better chance against them I felt way more comfortable on legendary playing those games but having said that, the season is over. And in the grand scheme of things, not the world's worst season. But let's go through the squad. Let's see players that we're going to keep and aren't going to keep. I mean, there's a few in there already. Ryan Fulton, definitely we will keep. I don't know if we'll find a better goalkeeper. A lot of this is going to depend on the free transfer market. Koulibaly, McMahon as well. I'd like to get Scott McMahon more game time next season. Koulibaly played the, the line share of the games this year. But I'd like to get McCann more games next season. Ramsey, the youngster coming in, went up free already. Can play centre-back CA and left back I'm excited about him actually using him he was pretty decent for us 14 appearances Easton 37 you know uh, Ramsey could actually be the player that's going to have to replace him because behind Easton centre back is probably going to be a position we really need to try hard for because we've got one who is okay and he has improved so potentially could get some more game time and then we've got Stanger who just it for me isn't good enough and Hamilton again who isn't good enough but Hamilton at 19 being 57 rated could potentially progress a little bit especially for this league unfortunately i don't want to play someone who's 57 rated now i know you could whinge about uh ramsey but it just made sense because i know what his potential is i know he can do fairly well and his height really helped me with him but when it comes down to Hamilton, I'm just not sure. I'm not sold on him, so maybe alone. We've got Sterling, who will be leaving the club. And then we've got Hakeem as well, who had a pretty decent season. I can't complain, but we definitely need another right back moving forward. Trafford, who was fantastic for us, but 29. That's what we've got to remember. Templeton, the 32-year-old. Unfortunately for us, he's gone down a lot this season. He did play a fair amount of games. Four goals, three assists. Wasn't bad for us, but pace-wise, nowhere near as quick as Ferreo. So we stuck with him for the majority of it the 28 year old 67 rated will definitely be someone we look to use again next season Munro 53 just didn't use him he could be decent I don't know how he'll grow at 19 but probably someone we look to loan out Luca Vickers, first season in the first team. Centre mid Cam actually had a decent season. Three assists. Couldn't get a goal, though. He doesn't have shooting boots. I tried a lot of different shots with him, and he just could not find the back of the net. But I'm excited to see what he could do. Seager, who came in, was fantastic for us. He scored an absolute screamer as well for me, but he was very good. Very good signing. I know he only made one, but he was a good one. Gonzalez, again, one of the free transfers. Fantastic for us this season. Uh, Regan, again, a 19-year-old that will probably look to loan out. Ross is leaving on a free. He didn't want to re-sign for me uh, Justin Johnson we probably will sell decent but we've got better right wingers in Bajano and uh, now Eb Eb Ade Ade Ibe bit like Hadamida Abeida Nigerian right and left mid I'm really excited about him. He did. We wouldn't have called him up this soon, but he wanted to leave. He was like, nah, gaffer, I'm way better than this youth team stuff. So we brought him in because I'm excited about him. I think he's going to be a fantastic player. So we do have him to rotate into the team next season. Although we may loan him out. And Lewis Smith, who actually had a fantastic season for us as well. And David Ramirez, a young prospect that's come up. So we all we have a few players there at right mid, and unfortunately for Johnson, he's just not going to get the game time. Obviously, our two main ones are going to be Danny Boy and Lewis Smith. If we can keep hold of Lewis Smith, because a lot of teams want him, and for decent money. Now, David Moyo, a.k.a. The Mayo, as I like to call him, 63 rated, 26-year-old from Zimbabwe, and he was, it was unbelievable, guys. In the back stretch, I don't think I'd have won the games without him. He he 
was so key going forward, whether it be his hold-up play or his ability to put the ball in the back of the net, as you can see, finishing on 11 goals. I don't think I'd have run that. I'd have won that stretch of games without this man in the team. Boyce, flop, mistake, should have never signed him. Condrea, again, well-rated, but when I use him... I, he just doesn't feel very good. He, he certainly doesn't have the same output as 63 rated Moyo, which, you know, is just a bit frustrating. And then we've got Tunde. Obviously, I put him on the list. He's 58 rated. We've got a new Nigerian prince in the team and Callum Smith, who has agreed a deal and will be leaving the club. So as you can tell already, we're a little bit bare bones unless it's right mid. I mean, we've got, what, five right mids and like, one left mid Rayleigh because Templeton's getting on a bit now. So we are really weak in terms of certain positions and centre mid is one of them and we need a new CDM as well. So there's going to be a lot to look at now in the window and it's going to be interesting to see how much money they give us. But if you were wondering who won the league, I can't tell you because Rangers beat Celtic in the split. So I have no idea who won the league. If I go in second stage, I don't think it gives... Oh, it does give me the championship group. So Celtic did win the league on 101 points. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I didn't realize this. Uh, Celtic did win the league on 101 points, only losing once all season... Oh, uh, no, sorry, once in the split, which was to Rangers, so it's not all season. And Rangers came second, Aberdeen just behind, and then, you know, a whole host of teams. Now, on 34 points, we went miles away from 43. Can we bridge a 10-point gap and maybe be in the top six next season? That would be nice. That's probably the aim. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, though. That's going to be a lot of transfers. I don't want to play as many games as I had to play this time round. If I didn't play, if, if I didn't play those games after the split, I could pretty much all but guarantee that we'd have got sacked and we'd have finished bottom of the table. So it was really important that I did play those games. And trust me, I try hard. It's like a madman. I was sweating buckets trying to win those games. Also, one thing I will notice that is a bug: this thing about George Stranger. Or Stanger, sorry. I did offer him a contract. He's unhappy, but I offered him a contract. In fact, he signed a new contract, I think. There you go. He signed a contract for four years. So I did give him a new contract, and it was a delegated contract at whatever wage he wanted. You just recently negotiated a new contract, but apparently it didn't trigger. So it's still the board are coming to me saying, why didn't you do a new contract for him? And he's also coming to me saying, Gaffey, you said you'd give me a new contract. And I'm like, I did give you a bloody new contract. So I think that might have bugged out. A bit of a shame, but we're going to sell him anyway, so it doesn't matter. Fortunately, youth academy players seem to get unsettled quite quickly. Now, that's a little bit frustrating because we did lose one player who I thought was going to be key for us. I have hired another scout, sent him out to the Czech Republic. So he's brought back a whole host of players. But yeah, we lost one strike. I think it was Cardoza. Um, and that was frustrating. But you've got to keep an eye on it a little bit more when you're simming forward quite a bit. The players will just leave. But there's still some very good talent in here, especially like Julian Cock, who could be coming up next season. And we've got a Logan Arthur as well, maybe at left back. We do need a left back, but I need to see that potential overall be a little bit closer. If it was like 76 to 82, that's very good for this level. So here we are. End of season one at Hamilton and this Scottish adventure. A decent season. I quite enjoyed it, to be honest with you, which is an absolute understatement. I didn't enjoy it whatsoever. I did enjoy the last five games that I played, though. I will be honest with you on that one. But no, I didn't. It, it wasn't enjoyable because we just lost a lot, like a lot. And it, it's difficult to build this team as well at the exact same time. So a little bit frustrating. Moyo there grabbing player of the month. And that doesn't surprise me. He was on extreme fire in that end run. But yeah, it's, it's not the end of the world. What's this? Financial report. So let's actually look at the objectives and see what we did, right? So the critical one, apparently we didn't do the first one. We did do the second one. Now we didn't do the first one because we didn't make the profit, I'm assuming, but we did actually finish with the money and we did the youth one that they really wanted as well. So I'm assuming, because they're critical, these are actually genuinely important. You have to make sure that you get these done if they say critical and probably even high or else your manager score will go down quickly. Before I signed the three players, we were down in the like at 70 until I signed three defenders. I had to send a scout out just to get three defenders. I, I didn't even know if they were going to be good. Just didn't want to get sacked. So I would definitely pay attention this year to these. They're pretty important now. The budget one was quite easy for us. We knew we weren't going to spend a lot of money, but the profit of 2.7 was difficult. We couldn't sell a lot of players if we weren't going to spend a lot of money. 
But that's going to be it for season one. I will come back with season two. There's a performance review as well, but we'll press start here. And boom, football is back. Scottish football, obviously, of course. And I will come back and we'll see the budgets and everything for season two. The usual jazz with the pre-season tournament. Which one are we going to pick? The one that gives us the most money and we stand a good chance in. So we are going to go with this one, actually. 1.3. I think the other one's a little bit more difficult. I saw Palmer in there as well as... Uh, Spezia, Bologna, Udinese, yeah, that one's a bit rougher than this one. But the big news is that we still have our job, which is nice. I mean, that's really good. And it is the budget. So for this season, we're going to have 2.26 transfer budget and 16k wage budget. Now, the wage budget is a bit frustrating because as you saw at the end of that last one, we had 58k. We ain't going to have that, unfortunately for us. But it's not a terrible one. I mean, if we went back down to the kind of the transfer budget that we had we wouldn't have miles off that anyway we don't need a huge transfer budget it is going to be free transfers now on the wickham save over on twitch we got to test free transfers they appear to be all right this year they appear to be a lot better teams definitely resign more but you still see some players that potentially would leave the club and go on a free transfer so we are going to actually be able to find some decent players i think in the free transfers so obviously we've still got this situation with the youth development we've still got one left on here for critical which is within two seasons have at least one player from the youth academy signed in the first season play at least 50 percent of the games in the next season now we probably do have a player that will do that in center mid this year so that is okay or even at center back so we need to remember that they've got to play 50 percent of the games but we probably will name that one so that's not a problem but the financial one might be a little bit more difficult now we need to sign one player that is crucial and make a profit of 4.5 and leave 670,000 that's fine and we'll definitely sign a crucial player I don't think we'll make that profit though that's the problem I don't think we'll be able to make that profit it's going to be very difficult for us to make that profit um of 4.5 million we just don't have the personnel in the team to do that all right guys so I am going to search and scour the free transfer market see what we can do but i'm gonna leave it here for this episode i hope you appreciated it i hope you enjoyed it no game in this one there will be a game in the next one though once we've done pre-season we've got some players and so on and so forth obviously this series is different if you want the usual several games an episode that style leverkusen go check it out it is also on the channel if you're new around here please hit subscribe i appreciate it if you're looking forward to the journey as we build a hopefully a scottish dynasty here at hamilton although we nearly lost our job season one then please smash that like button i'd massively appreciate that and it definitely helps in the youtube algorithm thank you very much for all the subs recently you guys are fucking killing it and i'm gonna leave it here it's been a interesting episode for me this has taken me roughly about five hours uh to record it all takes a little while doing this one but i'm enjoying it and it's a different style and it's a different take on it and i can do a lot more off camera which is interesting you know i did enjoy playing that run of games i, I wish i hadn't had to play all of them you know usually i just play the odd one Wish I hadn't had to play them all, but hey, we couldn't get sacked, could we, season one? What, episode two? It was just me being sacked. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you in the next one where we start to look for some players for the new season. And if you know of any gems, like some just some underground great players that we could pick up, let me know, man.